Technomancer for zero point fuel. Uh, as you guys know, I've been working on this um, transformer for the past month on and off between my normal work. And uh, I wanted to show you, we got it welded. Not the best welding job, but what's happening is the heat from the weld is causing these to come up. I had to tack it to try to tack it through there and it, it didn't work as well as I thought. So my only real concern here is that where the welds are, it will disrupt the laminar flow through the what is supposed to be a lower form of uh, resi resistance for the back EMF magnetic field to flow because we're not talking about electrical current we're talking about a magnetic field so I'm hoping that this is okay uh, it's as tight and as clean as I can make it and it's the best shot I have of making this type of uh, transformer work uh, without paying to have plates cut in this shape which would obviously be the solution um, it would probably cost three or four hundred bucks and uh, what I wanted to show you here is what's going to happen is this thing is going to be mounted in a jig that holds it about like that as tight as I can get it and then when I put on this and with a wrap I'm gonna put a strap over it and it will pull this to together right here tight because I don't want to weld that because I want to be able to change the uh, wraps on there and the wraps are going to be using um, little pieces of plastic over it with um, uh, basically it, it's going to put a bobbin on this part and then I'll have a jig that I can wind this with uh, I'm going to use a number 12 wire 300 turns on each one of these and then this will be uh, it'll be a one-to-one -to, -one to start with and then this will be 300 turns with a number 24 which will be connected to a inverter to feed pulse feed this because a crappy inverter is really a DC pulse 120 volts it's not uh, a true sine wave but what you, when you run it through a transformer that's when it becomes a true sine wave because the oscillation as it shuts off the field runs the other way so um, so basically that's it that's what's taken all the time now I wanted to show you here this right here is how I did this because this space has to be perfect and this alignment has to be perfect and they have to be flush or you won't be able to get it to mate to the other half so basically I built a little jig and I put some old transformer plates and I'll show you this isn't the one I left it out in the garage but basically I put transformer plates and acted as a spacer and then I clamped them together sitting upright like that so that I could weld this that's a really crappy weld by the way it's been a while since I welded probably my army days 30 years ago so I ended up having to use a MIG welder a borrow a MIG welder because the one that I got was didn't work worth a shit and uh, you know I obviously I practiced first and that's the best I could do so anyway I clamped this and then I was able to weld these and ensure that the shape here you can see that sticking up this is all going to be wrapped will perfectly mate because this right here this part of it is crucial for this back EMF flow to happen properly now like I said this if this doesn't work because of issues like this I'm not ready to give up on it. I I believe that this system will work this way, the way as he he described it. Now he used other materials. There are met glass. Uh, there's a carbon material. There are other materials to use other than these transformer plates. This is, just seems like the most logical way to try first to me. 
So you got to remember that the current flowing through these transformer plates is a high frequency. And even the small transformers, you know, because it is a magnetic field, this principle should work just the same as a transformer. So the materials he was using was from his experiments and it's what he ended up with. Well that's because he didn't do this first. He tried uh, just putting two secondaries on it and then the material we added on the outside ring he added later so that could be the reason it ended up the way it was so this had to be tried this there's no other way around it if this was if this works then uh, everybody will be able to replicate it um, if they want to build it this way this is actually really not that bad if it works after I figured out how how to cut these straight um, this is basically represents two microwave transformers and locally I can go to the Goodwill and get to get a microwave oven for five bucks so because I don't care about the outside if it's scratched up or whatever I'm using the transformer inside this was two different size transformers um, the smaller one was a thousand watts and the outside one there was a 1500 watt microwave so you can see I've got another one set up here if this one works that is a little easier to see I already welded that part that's a little better weld this is after the first one there so I cut cut that off and then ground that smooth um, and then uh, those pieces just get stacked up and welded on the ends like that so pardon the mess I've been so busy I haven't had a lot of time for anything else I'm gonna post a video today guys I know this is right now this is only available in the gold channel for builders who have built a motor um, so uh, I'm really addressing you guys this video will eventually end up open and this will be the first video in the coil chronicle ser series which is dealing with motionless power so um, just so you know this is where we're at and on the motor uh, I wanted to show you this is where we're at on the motor I'm basically uh, I have to make a clamp that and a spacer to hold this plate then I have to balance these plates and that's really where I'm at you know this plate these plates because I put a resin to hold the magnets in the plates uh, the resin didn't smoothly flow through that so there could be an issue with it being off balance and it's going to be running at 2000 rpm so I don't want to mess with that you know I want to make sure that this is perfectly balanced the nice thing is because I have two plates I can rotate the plates balance them out just by rotating them a certain way and lock them in then fine-tune it with some little screws on the back here to get the weight just right so the whole thing has to come back apart um, so I can put those plates and balance them and I got two clamps to make now I did get the motor set up and it's running on two amps uh, it's still running under a thousand rpm but I need to charge all these batteries and stuff this thing has been put together for a few years and I've never really charged it with anything but itself so what I'm gonna have to do is put some chargers the batteries are down to 11 volts or something um, so I'm gonna have to do some work after the the batteries cold boiled and I lost that liquid I had to add uh, water to the batteries again uh, distilled water and uh, I haven't charged them other than charging the other bank which that bank is uh, a little better than the than the one feeding the power to it so and the other issue is obviously that inverter down there is not a true sine wave inverter and um, 
I do suffer a little bit from that not being a true sine wave, which I actually have one that I'm going to set up for that. But it's all depends on this right here. Because like I said, this can change everything. Um, if this works, you should be able to wrap an external um, secondary wrap. I'll show you this piece of an old transformer here. You see how this is? It's hard to see. But there's a primary wrap under this one. And then the secondary is just has a spacer and it's wrapped right over top of it. So if you were to wrap a one-to-one, -one, which is uh, means I get 120 volts out of both sides, more amperage, five times the amperage of the primary, then I could, over top of that, wrap with less wraps, 12 volts. Run the 12 volts back into a capacitor bank that feeds the inverter. Uh, I know that sounds crazy, but the potential's there for this to be motionless power. Whether or not it's going to work, that's another issue. And the video is running a little long, so I'm going to cut it short. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.